Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Um, before I get started um, on a more serious note, I just want to express how sorry I am for the horrible tragedy that happened last night in Las Vegas. Um, it's just unfathomable what these people are going through right now and it's just so unfortunate and so tragic and um, my heart goes out to all of those that were affected. We're all affected as a country, but the people that were more directly affected. It's just horrible, horrible. I can't even imagine. So um, I just wanted to, you know, put that out there before I get into today's video because I know all of us are seeing it on the news and social media and it's just, it affects everybody indirectly. And, you know, I just feel I know our hearts are heavy for everyone that was affected directly, so I just wanted to express that before I get into today's video. Um, as always, thanks to my um, newest subscribers and everyone watching my videos, appreciate it. Um, some of you may have seen the um, Empire um, interview that came out with some quotes and statements from the cast of Justice League, um, specifically Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Jason Momoa, and Ezra Miller. Um, I don't think I saw anything on, from Ray Fisher, unless I didn't, I don't think I saw anything on Ray Fisher. Um, Henry Cavill obviously has been kind of flying under the radar as far as um, interviews and giving, you know, doing the press and stuff like that so far. We'll see how, if that changes when, um, all you know the the busier press stuff starts getting closer to the movie but I won't be surprised if maybe he's not as involved as the other cast members so um, if you haven't seen you know Empire usually does covers for all these movies and stuff before they come out this one's a little bit different it was um, drawn by a DC artist so uh, it looks it still looks totally awesome though um, we still get a sense of their character, their movie characters, um, how they look in the movie from the cover. And um, I guess, you know, it was something unique, something different to do for a magazine cover. I still would have loved to see an actual photo for the cover of them because, you know, a lot of people look forward to these Empire magazine covers when, you know, these big movies are coming out. So it would have been really cool to see an actual picture of them, but nevertheless, still a cool cover. Um, and again, Superman not included in this one, but that's okay. Where they're getting us, uh, you know, excited and hungry for that return of Superman. So it's okay that they're kind of leaving him out of most of the um, promos and all that stuff, in my opinion. So I want to get into um, the statements uh, that were included in the article that I read. Um, the actual Empire, I don't think it's on stands just yet, um, but there were some quotes released from some of the cast members, so um, Ben Affleck had to say, I'm going to read these so that way we can get it word for word, um, the movie's bigger in scale than any movie I've been involved with in my career. It feels massive in terms of the visual elements. That's something that Zack is really good at. That will be admired sounds so um sounds so true of what we know of Zack Snyder and you know his um signature that he has when it comes to movies they're all very visually um enticing like they just have such great visuals they're very um he's a very visionary visually motivated director as we can tell in a lot, most of his movies um so that's not surprising to hear, right? I was surprised kind of to hear that Ben Affleck said that it's more massive in scale than any movie he's done in his career, which, you know, he's had a long career in movies, you know, he's not um, a rookie in this business. Um, so that was kind of surprising to hear. So that just kind of gives us a sense of what to expect, how big visually this movie is going to be and extensive. So um, I'm going to move on to Gal Gadot. She said very simply, this is Zack Snyder's movie. I love that she said that. 
Joss only did a few weeks of reshoots. He was Zack's guy and knew exactly what he wanted to get. Zack has a beautiful vision. So I don't think that she was trying to be, you know, disrespectful or take credit away from Joss or anything like that and what he has contributed to the movie. But I think that they still want to make, it's still important to them for people to realize that Zack started this and it's still his vision that we're going to see in the movie regardless of who did the reshoots. And that, um, you know, they're not just changing the entire movie with a few weeks of reshoots. <laughs> so I think it was important for her to get that point across so that way Zack gets the credit that he actually deserves um, for the movie. So I, I can appreciate that from her. Um, Jason Momoa, I can just hear him saying this in my mind as I read it. <laughs> Very simple couple sentences. But um, he said, I effing love Zack, man. I'd do anything for him. And, you know, when we see, like, the Comic-Con panels and, like, you know, little videos and clips of them talking about the movie that we've been getting recently, you get the sense that they have this really special bond with Zack Snyder and that they're very thankful to him for bringing them on board for this big project and um, this adventure that they're having together on the set of these movies. And um, so, you know, it's really, uh, it's really nice to see that they're very supportive of him and that, he, you know, he's also supportive of them and that they are, you know, working together for Zack's vision um, to bring it to life. So Ezra Miller was, um, his statement is regarding how the cast found out that he was going to be um, stepping down from the project in lieu of his family tragedy. So um, this is, that's what he's talking about in his statement. And he says, it's a heroic act at its root. He called each and every one of us and took the time to explain something that defies in many ways explanation. He told us exactly how it was going to go down, which was true to course. He fascinates and amazes me. Zack Snyder, ultimate effing legend forever. So again, another um, statement to show that, you know, they have this close bond, this good relationship, and that they were supportive of his decision to step down. And I'm sure it was, you know, it was probably very difficult for Zach to have to explain this to them and like they said, you know, I think regardless if even if he wouldn't have given them and given them in the best explanation he could, they probably still would have been very understanding. Um you know, because of the con due to the circumstances that him and his family were in at the time and um so I'm sure but he still probably wanted to let them know you know, I'm not just going to abandon you guys and just forget about this whole thing that we started together. I'm sure he, you know, wanted them to know that we're still going to, it's still going to be finished and, you know, um, we're not going to push back the deadline because we don't want to do that to the fans. I don't know exactly what he told them. I'm just saying, you know, based on what Ezra Miller said, that he told them exactly how it was going to go down, that they, you know, he took the time to explain to them that he was probably had thought about you know him and Joss had probably discussed obviously what else needed what needed to be finished and how they wanted how Zach wanted that to be done so um just cool to see it's cool to hear how they talk about him and he's not just their director it sounds like you know they're probably like extended they consider each other like the, like a family you know so Ben Affleck also went on to talk about um, Joss Whedon, and he said that, um, I didn't sense that we were moving towards something that felt like the Avengers. Joss is more than just an, an Avengers director. He's a good storyteller, full stop. In midstream, Joss got, um, Joss got on, and part of what interested him was the puzzle aspect of it, fitting in pieces that weren't there yet. He put the rest of the pieces in and gave it his own imprimatur. Um, Joss came in and walked a very fine line between Zack's sensibility, tone, and direction. We found a really fun and inspiring synthesis of their two forms of storytelling. I was so glad everyone showed up to work for Zack. So, you know, like I said, also giving credit to Joss where um, his credit is due and that he did come on and, you know, 
amplify the storytelling aspect of the movie, the dialogue, the interaction between the characters, um, from what I've heard from previous um, reports and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, you know, still Zack Snyder's movie, which they're obviously making clear in these statements, but that Joss, you know, he had he also had a point of view to contribute that WB, DC, Zack Snyder all felt was valuable for the movie. So, you know, they both deserve their credit for what they have done. But, you know, like Gal Gadot said, it's important to remember that Joss is carrying out Zack's vision and that's what we're gonna see in the movie. And so, you know, good good words to hear from them. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to cover in today's video. And um, there's another look at the Empire cover that's going to be um, hitting stands pretty soon for people to pick up a copy of their own. And they probably, I don't know if they have pictures in there or not. If, I mean, I'm guessing they do, but I don't know. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> there was also though a cool, I don't know if this came from the Empire article or not. So I'm not 100% sure, but I just saw this on Twitter earlier and thought it was an awesome picture. Um, you might've seen a floating, ra floating around of, um, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman and Ben Affleck as Batman in the what looks like the Batcave. Um, I'm guessing it's the Batcave because we see Alfred back there in the background. It could be the Flying Fox. I don't know. I think it's the Batcave. I'm just going to... That's just what I'm saying. I haven't taken a good look. I haven't taken a super specific look at all the details. There's not too, too much to see like we saw in the flash photo, but um, you can see there's some screens back there. I was trying to zoom in and see what they're looking at. still kind of hard to tell from what I can see, but... Um, we see Alfred in the background, so that's, you know, and we see Ben in his suit without the cowl, and Wonder Woman's kind of looking at him, like, I wonder, I don't know what that expression's for, but <laughs> I guess we'll find out. So, cool picture, um, if you haven't seen that yet, um, that's a new one that I saw today. So, um, as always, thank you guys again for watching, um, links in the description for Twitter, Patreon, and the Comics Bolt. And um, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.